Alright, we made it down here again. It's during the day. It's a spot where I usually go at night. I'm just watching these people like get wiped out by the waves. They just get wiped out right there. And, well, and I'm seeing where the people are at in the water. Now I know when it goes low tide to where it's stuck. Only problem is it's not gonna go that low. And there's a lot of people on the beach today. Let's keep going, see if we can find some gold. All right, we finally got our first signal. There's not many signals down here. It's probably just a penny, but let's dig it and see what it is. Yep, just a penny. Let's keep going. We'll, we'll find something good hopefully today. All right, we got our second signal. 13. I'm gonna let the water pass. Yeah. Cause this could possibly be a ring and I don't wanna lose it. Really low tone. I mean, it's ringing up as a nickel. You never know. I think it's still in the hole, but we'll check. Nope. Now it sounds like a nickel. Yeah, it's a nickel. Money, money, money. Just a nickel. <laughs> I want a gold ring. Um, one of my gold rings was the best, probably. Yeah, people probably do stuff all the time here. Yeah, but I found a pretty good gold chain before that was probably better than that. I don't know. It's all about how much it's worth. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got another, we got that target right there. Now we got another one right here. <laughs> this sounds like a dime. Probably a dime. See you guys. You should jump all the way in the water. It's really nice. <laughs> Ah, we got it right here. Dime. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> so I was just talking to these people right here. But, uh, they were nice. All right, we're on to another target. It's just a quarter sound. Uh, Twenty-nine thirty. But we'll see. See if it actually is a quarter. It could be a silver ring. I think I'm just totally missing it. There we go. Yep, it is just a quarter. Huh. We're just traveling down the beach. The hole gets filled in. So I'm down here where no people are sitting and I got dime just now. now. Now I'm getting a quarter right here. And there's the water. I see the quarter though. It helped me. It helped me find it. <laughs> All right, back to it. All right, we haven't had a signal in a while. The sun's starting to go down. 
And we got an 18. So let's see what that is. Jeez. I mean, if I was to guess, I'd guess fishing weight. But it's probably a zinc penny. Yep, zinc penny. These zinc pennies can rank up any way, any way they want to. Depends on how corroded they are. All right, yeah, kind of see the sun is going down. Uh, the tide is also going down, so we're working our way that way as far as we can. And then uh, whatever it takes to get back. In time for the parking meter, I'll try to make it. There's one you can see. See it right there? I don't find, that, find them like that too often. Uh, take what we can get. Oh yeah. The sun is going down. Beautiful, huh? Blue sky. Perfect picture right there. Let's just keep going. There it goes. Let's just watch the last of it. We'll watch it disappear together. Uh, maybe not. It's taking too long. One little sliver left. And it's gone, yeah. Last of it. <laughs> All right. All right, I got a sound here, but I'm losing sunlight. I can't tell what it is. Keep faint. Yeah, we're right in the wave zone. Probably gonna lose it. Should have just dug it. <laughs> oh, maybe we got it. Yeah, it's an interesting sound. It's a low tone. 1617. I don't know what that is. I can see it. It's fishing weight. Yeah, just a fishing weight. Well, let's move on. We forgot a fishing weight. There's what the sky is looking like. I gotta get my light on. All right, I'm gonna go turn my put my light on. I hate wearing that thing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I can't believe how far I've gone with no signals. But here's one. I was really hoping would be, tonight would be good. It's uh, Sunday night. Uh, this looks like junk. Zinc penny. Yeah, it's Sunday night. It's been busy all weekend. I'm not finding anything. Not coins. Nothing. I mean, I found a few coins. But as far as I traveled, I should have a whole handful of coins. Anyways, 
about to the end of my journey and we're gonna head back halfway through the hunt. See that light right there? Also a light out in the water. I think a rescue's going on. I hear a siren. Uh, about a week ago or so, maybe a little more, me and Alex were driving home and we saw a whole bunch of police, boats, everything by the water. Uh, and some 15 year old kid got swept away in the surf and they searched for him all night. Couldn't find him, and a day or two later, he washed up dead. So you guys be careful out there. It can happen to anybody. You never know. Anyways, that's really sad. I didn't even think about it. Let's get back to the hunt. I'm gonna walk down to where that rescue is going on and see if. Sure, I think it's over now. I don't know. Not shining the light in the water now. So hopefully they everything's fine. There's two guys out right here in front of me. Can't even see them now. They were just right out here. Crazy. Well, uh, I hate to do this, but. Earlier, some guy walked by and said, hey, this guy lost his keys. Uh, if you find him, he didn't even tell me anything. He, he didn't know the guy, he was just, he was talking to him. He didn't say anything, actually. Uh, anyways, I found him some keys. And, well, I don't know what to do. Walk up straight where I found them and see if there's anybody st stuck out of their car. What kind of car? A Geo. Okay, that'll help. I'll just stick them on the Geo if I see one. <laughs> if I can't find the owner. This beach was packed today. I don't know how I didn't find anything. I'm not even. I should just turn my detector off right now. I hate digging the dry sand. I'll, see, I'll never get up there. I want to finish my hunt. I was almost back to my car. I gotta go all the way up to this parking lot. Dang, I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I'll sh turn it back on if anything happens. I found the guy. <laughs> he got his car running already. <laughs> he doesn't speak English, but he's happy to have his keys back. <laughs> All right, that, that was worth the walk now. That, what just, ha what just happened right now was a total, like, miracle. Miracle that I even found his keys. Uh... A miracle, <laughs> this is a long walk through this dry sand that I walked actually up there to look for the guy when he's probably should have been gone already. Uh, yeah, so. Taking everybody off the beach. Yeah. Oh, it's a balloon. I saw something running along. What the heck is that? A balloon. But anyways, wow, that was a good feeling <laughs> to return those keys to him. He was so happy. I could just see it in his face because he couldn't speak English. But he already ripped his car apart. And he got it started. So hopefully he can get it back together. <laughs> That's crazy though. All right. <laughs> so I'm walking back down to the water. Uh, now I'm gonna have to walk through the dry sand to get to my car again. Back to the hunt. All right, we made it home. 
and it is a hot one. <laughs> it's the next day, actually, uh, later on in the day. Here's what happens to my leaves during the day. It gets so hot. I watered this morning. They just wrinkle down. Yeah, let's look at the pumpkin before we do the wrap-up. So it's getting pretty big, and it still has about two months till Halloween, I think. I don't really know the big dates. Um, yeah. So this hunt, I walked so far. Tried so hard. Going up and down, back and forth, and traveled so far. And spent a lot of money on this hunt. Uh, 15 for parking. Well, it was actually 14. Um... $20 in gas. So it was just a rough, tough hunt. Um, and all we got was five, five quarters, <laughs> one nickel, two dimes, six pennies, three pieces of trash. And this was in the dry sand, I believe. Uh, one fishing weight. So, not very pressed. There was a lot of people on the beach. I was, the, I, ch I checked it both days that weekend, this weekend. Um, I am just shocked we didn't find anything. But we did find that guy's keys. And that, I believe, was a miracle because I was walking down the beach, right? These people came by, just random people, said, Oh, some guy down there. They didn't show up. Tell me where. They just pointed down there, so it could be anywhere. Uh, lost his keys. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, not much I can do about that. I mean, I didn't see the guy or anything when I went walking by. So I just kept going. About probably two hours. I kept walking, you know, farther and farther. Like two hours. Um, so on the way back, so I guess maybe it's been two hours, two and a half hours down there and then back to about where the keys were lost. And I found the keys and I'm like, there's no way this guy's still here. I'm just going to throw him in my bag and keep walking. And then it, in my head, I'm thinking, well, what if he is still here? What if it was me up there? no keys he can't start his car so he's he might still be up there and i convinced myself to go up, walk all the way up through the sand to the parking lot and see right where i found him i just checked i figured he'd be right up there and we found him it was a miracle the guy had his hood open he had been tinkering with wires and it, i probably got his keys back to him too late he probably already ruined his ignition um might have even been an illegal. He didn't speak English. Uh, but he got his key back anyways. I just thought that was a miracle. To me, it felt like a miracle. That I even found him. <laughs> anyways. That was a good part of the hunt, I guess. Made me feel good. But it added more work on me. I swear I got so worked that night. Last night. My arm. Oh, God. I was swinging and swinging. My arm doesn't usually hurt. That It actually started feeling like, you know, I better stop. I don't want to ruin my arm. I was swinging that much. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video. Um, I finally got Venmo. One of the young people in my family helped me get it. Anyways, and I got Apple Pay on my phone. She helped me get that, too. I was like, yay. I'm, like, catching up to the times now. I had Zelle. But with Zelle, you always have to give people your phone number and stuff. So now I can get people to Venmo me money. Because <laughs> when I sell all my stuff on the beach, I always have a problem. You know, they, they ask me, oh, you got Venmo? I'm like, no, I got Zelle. <laughs> and then I have to give them my phone number, which I don't mind. But... Yeah, so that those are the updates for now. And, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not, not that I ran out of stuff to say. I'm just like, I better cl close this thing now. Um, yeah. So hopefully our next hunt will be on a different beach and we'll find something. Hopefully. Oh yeah, I sold the watch. So it's gone if anybody asked about it. I haven't looked at the comments on that video yet, so I don't know what's going on with it. If anybody wanted it or whatever. But yeah, I sold it for 150. Just, I know people are curious, so I might as well tell you. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. And, well, stay safe out there.